Alright, hey guys, Yona here, and welcome back to my RuneScape 3 Road to Max series. Now, last episode, I enjoyed the very AFK and very profitable skill called Archaeology, and on this episode, I am going to be making quite a bit of profit as well, if I do uh, intend to go all the way to 99 with Swarm Fishing, which is really AFK, and it also gets you... A little bit of profit at the higher levels once you start getting sailfish which are i think i already have some in my bank actually let's check raw sailfish 6000 gp each and the blue blubber jellyfish are 8000 each okay so yeah i'm gonna be fishing i created some fishing rotomatics to get some invention xp at the same time and yeah perfect juju fishing potions all this stuff I think I'm ready to start FK again. Fishing grind is off to a great start as I'm already level 90 with 1.4 mil bonus XP left. Now I have decided that from this point forwards I'm going to be focusing my bonus XP on rune crafting because I feel like AFK fishing is going to be a lot more enjoyable to train than rune crafting. I don't even know what the rune crafting meta is in RuneScape 3, but you know, just in case, out of all the skills that I still have left. I mean, Slayer shouldn't really be too big of a problem to get to 99 from what I've seen from the rates, the XP rates. Um, once I do unlock uh, tasks like Abyssal Demons, those are going to be great. So yeah, let's use all the medium stars that I go from my Treasure Hunter on Rune Crafting. And then it is also, wait, where's the bank chest there? It is also minus 75% off on the medium stars so let's buy 50 of those as well and use them on rune crafting and wait a minute it's actually the last month of the day what did i just say i mean the last day of the month so um i think i'll complete the dnds real quick well, apparently there's a system update coming up but i'm actually going to grab 99 divination real quick um i'm kind of Growing tired of having to do Gothics in cash every single day. I mean, you don't have to do it, but it's so good XP that I kind of had to. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to be doing it post-99. I don't really care too much about post-99 XP, at least right now, for Divination. Because you can't even get the Divination pet from the DND as far as I'm aware. But these Chronicle Fragments, because I haven't actually trained like any actual divination um, you can get three from the modified diviners headwear you can get three per day and that's basically almost the 100 days of claiming my free chronicle fragments and this should be enough to get me to 99 divination so we are here at gothics's shrine and let us offer all the chronicle fragments all of these for 278,000 xp and 99 divination i'm also quite close to dungeoneering it's like a week of doing sinkhole every single day okay looks like i just unlocked the next region it's been so long oh my god it's gonna take so long until i unlock the next one i think this is the sixth zone and there's eight i think there's eight yeah so there's this one invention item that i probably should have uh created a long time ago let's see is it skilling support yeah earn enhancer basically uh one divine charge will provide enough charges to enhance 150 urns which is really cheap so you get 25 percent more xp per urn while you have the urn enhancer and yeah it's it's just insanely good and i should have made it earlier anyways let us check the oyster for our loot 1.1 mil, not bad. Um, then let's do the fishing as usual. The XP drops are insane. So for the FEG Incubator DND, you actually need level 85 on a skill to utilize it. And Rune Crafting is the only skill out of the FEG Incubator skills that I don't have at 99 yet. So since I do have some bonus XP on it, I'm gonna AFK a little bit at Rune Span with some urns and the urn enhancer that I just created. Um, I think I might look into Abyss runecrafting 
as soon as I get enough rune ethereal fragments to get like at least one outfit or something. It is quite late now, but that is the effigy incubator um, DND completed. Well, I just logged in and what do we have here? Some lucky dip tickets. Chance to win prizes. Let's go ahead and check that out real quick. Okay, so basically it's just playing the lottery, but inside RuneScape and you get one daily ticket for free as well as for completing a daily challenge, you also get one. You can also just earn them by playing the game. I don't really care too much. I put all my tickets toward the uh, coin one. I put all 11 of my tickets and I guess I'm gonna wake up tomorrow with 500 mil coins. That should be another farming level, 96 farming. Okay, so I didn't win the coins, but I got, I didn't realize that it gave you a medium XP lamp for every single ticket that you entered with. So I got 11 medium XP lamps, which got me enough crafting XP over 100k to get to 86. I was recording with RuneScape on my second screen and it didn't record that. So just doing some more sinkholes and this medium lamp gets me to 98 Dungeoneering. Closing in on 99 Dungeoneering as well. Okay, so I thought that I finished a shark outfit, but unfortunately, if you take a look here, I have four from every single set, so I'm not gonna be using this yet. But that means I only need to create three more pieces to actually get the combined shark outfit. So I'm just trying to do my Dungeoneering daily challenge and ever since like uh, the last update, a lot of the click boxes, hit boxes, whatever you wanna call them, have been pretty fucked. As you can see, as I'm hovering over the door, um, it's really annoying. All right, that's all the daily challenges. Um, let us claim the rewards and see if I get any level ups. And there is 85 Slayer, which actually means that once I do start training Slayer, I can start killing Abyssal Demons and using the uh, Priftina Slayer Master. All right, so I haven't really done anything about these golden fish eggs and stuff like that that you get while fishing and I'm actually going to go ahead and go to my player owned house and construct the aquarium and I think you can actually benefit from using these eggs over there and other than that I think it's just a completionist cape requirement so I did actually have enough prom perk points to unlock all the perks for the comp cave requirement now there's nothing too useful here except that i can fish and fly fish as well as barbarian fish without bait or feathers that's about it i suppose back to fishing so i did have enough pieces to finally complete the fury shark outfit by combining all the shark outfits so this is gonna be a nice boost to the fishing gains all right, it is actually a very special day today because if we take a look at the Ottoman store, it's 75% off from medium stars as well as medium lamps. So let's go ahead and buy all the stars first and as usual, put them on rune crafting. So that's 300,000 and I'm gonna get 300,000 more. And I'm also gonna get a level up from all the medium prismatic lamps that I'm gonna be using. So let's just use those first. And I'm already up to one point, almost 1.2 mil bonus XP on rune crafting, which is not bad at all. Buy the lamps and use them as well. And get to level 87 rune crafting. Oh man, we're on a streak. Yesterday it was double, minus 75% off on the stars and lamps. And today it's minus 75% off again on the lamps. I'm actually going to be running out of, uh, well, let me use these stars first. I'm actually going to be running out of um, ornaments, as you can see, I don't really have too many left. So let's just go ahead and buy the lamps and use them on rune crafting. Get another level up, I think. Yes, there is 88 rune crafting and could buy ornaments. Let's just buy the last five as well. I can't afford another 75% off. All right, I have once again completed some daily challenges. And once I click this claim rewards button here, I will be getting 99 Dungeoneering, as you can see I'm 48,000 XP away, and there we go, there is 99 Dungeoneering. Now I'm gonna stop doing sinkholes now, same with the divination thing, I haven't been doing Gothics in cash ever since I got 99, 
Um, I'm gonna stop doing sinkholes as well. I know the skill ends at 120, but sinkholes don't have a pet chance. Um, I've gotten the Garagio outfit from there. Let's take a look. Uh, wait, the horse. Yeah, it's called the horse stalker outfit. I have the whole outfit. I also have three horse stalker rings and got the Nabe title as well. I pretty much got everything that I want from sinkholes. Um, and I think from now on, I'm gonna train Dungeoneering through dailies and just regular Dungeoneering and have a chance for the Dungeoneering pet as well. Wait a minute, did I actually just get extremely lucky? I got two times multiplier on the purple gem and I got the rainbow gaze token. Gives you the rainbow gaze override, which I don't really care about. But I wonder if it's worth something. I have to research before I dump this in the uh, in the uh, Grand Exchange because it might actually be worth something, especially later on after the event. Yeah, apparently they were over 100 mil each a while ago. But of course, because of the event is back now and you can get them, they have gone down by quite a bit. So I guess I'll just hold on to these and try to sell them later if they do regain some value again. There's 97 farming, only two levels to go on that skill as well. And uh, there is a 95 wood cutting. So since I am still on the fishing grind, um, as you can see, 140,000 XP away from 98, I decided that I'm gonna go ahead and do my oyster before 99 fishing, just get some. Some of that sweet XP, because let's take a look. 7,000 XP, per XP drop, that's actually insane. And that's 98 fishing, which means only one more level to go. Well, the fishing grind is about to be over. As you can see, I'm under 4,000 XP away from 99. Now, it has been a very enjoyable and AFK grind once again, just like archeology span because of um, the swarm fishing. This is honestly, the XP isn't even too bad and it's really AFK. Um, sometimes you can AFK for long enough that you get logged out before you have to click again. I have a bunch of fishing loot. I'm gonna show you once I do finish this level up. All right, I am one fish away. Um, and there we go. So the fishing grind is over. It was nice, it was enjoyable. It was AFK. Most importantly, it was profitable. Now let me try and grab all of the stuff that I got from fishing. These are, well, the swordfish is entirely from the Cranite Lobster Familiar, I think. And then I might've gotten some sharks from uh, the swarm fishing itself. But uh, let's just go ahead and grab all the fishing loot here. There's gonna be quite a bit of money here. As you can see, this is all the fishing rotomatics. That's gonna be a bunch of invents in XP. But let's price check the fishing loot, 84 mil. And then I think I gained like another five mil from the Grace of the Elves. And that's all the stuff up for sales. I already sold some of the fish, but I'm not gonna be lowering. Oh, it looks like the shark sold as well. I'm not gonna be lowering the prices. I'm just gonna leave them here because I'm in no rush to get the money out of this. Um, but yeah, anyways, another 99, 26, 64 total, almost under a hundred levels. I think it's 108 levels. Wait, yeah, no, cause it also has some herb bro levels. So like 111 levels until, um, I can get my max cape. Of course, for true max, you do need 2,898, I think. But uh, anyways, I also forgot about the uh, fishing automatic, so let's just go ahead and grab those. Um, and then I think these are all, yeah, they're all leveled up. So let's just go ahead and disassemble them all. So I'm at level 87 and there's 92 invention. I think that's gonna be the last level up from this batch of invention, XP, disassembly, whatever. Yeah, 92 invention, not bad at all. I think I should be able to get that too. 
at least close to 99 as I go for Slayer. And as you can see, I already have all over 2 mil, I mean not over 2 mil, almost 2 mil rune crafting bonus XP. So things are not looking too bad actually. I think I might even max next month, honestly. I could also max like during this month, but I don't feel like going that hard on RuneScape right now. So I'm just gonna take it, take it easy and slowly get there. But anyways, thanks for watching this episode. I'll see you on the next one.